Toyota presents FC Dallas Extra Time, an all-access pass to your favorite soccer club. Ahead in the next 30 minutes, the best team in MLS tries to stay undefeated at home. They just turn that switch and move on and play against Sporting and kind of take the game to them. All-star Kellen Acosta joins us to get you ready for tonight's match against Sporting KC. Plus, find out what Alcatraz Island has to do with FC Dallas. It's a story you don't want to miss. We have that and more now on FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. Welcome to FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. We are getting you ready for tonight's match against Sporting KC. I am Gina Miller. Here to help me do that is FC Dallas defender and all-star, Kellen Acosta. That sounds good saying that, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, so when you introduce yourself to people, you say, hi, Kellen Acosta, MLS all-star. Is that your... I haven't yet, but it hasn't really clicked to me. Right, so what was that process like? It was pretty crazy. I mean, I never thought I would get the call up. In a sense, I mean, I was a late addition, but I was just very grateful for the opportunity. That coach Dom really believed in me, and um, when I found out the call, I think we were in Colorado, um, and Austria just kind of just took me to the side and kind of just told me, and I just I couldn't believe it. I was in a moment of shock. It was pretty crazy. And you got you were number ninety five in San Jose as the MLS All Stars <laughs> took on Arsenal. It ended up in a loss, a two one loss to Arsenal, but it was a great experience for you, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I chose number ninety five because I mean number twenty three is taken by Lawrence Simon, and I was born in ninety five, so I was like, man, just go figure. I'll just take ninety five. Kind of suit me well, so I'm glad I could use it. I love All Star games because they're such unique experiences because you are now teams with players you go against, you know, during the course right. of your everyday job. So what's that chemistry like in the locker room? Well, I mean, I think it was just kind of, it, it was definitely different, uh, different cultures, different backgrounds, but it was just pretty crazy just sharing the same lo locker room as some of the legends I grew up watching, like the Kakas, the right, Drogbas, right. Pirlos, and the Villas. I mean, it was just pretty crazy just to be in their presence. They're, they're all friendly and welcoming. So it was just pretty cool kind of just to get to know them more rather than just just watching them on TV. So, I mean, they're definitely great down-to-earth guys. So it was, it was really cool. Great you, to me. You mentioned friendly. Well, FC Dallas's Toyota Stadium has not been very friendly to opposing teams. FC Dallas just impossible to topple at home. You guys have been on top of the Western Conference, now on top of this MLS standings right now. Even in spite of what's been sort of a wacky week, you guys played in Los Angeles uh, on Wednesday. Then prior to that, you played a Champions League match on Thursday. Thursday, posting a 2-1 victory. What have these past couple of weeks been like as you haven't played a lot of MLS games, resuming to MLS action tonight, but you've had a couple of midweek games? It's been pretty hectic. I mean, we've, we've had a lot of games kind of on the road and kind of at home here and there. A lot of the Wednesday games, I mean, but I think for us, we've had, we have a really deep roster and a lot of guys are willing to step up and make, make the plays. Um, but all in all, I mean, coming here in Dallas, I mean, it's tough for opponents to play us here. It's just the heat is killer yeah. and brutal. And I mean, we just played last week our Champions League game against Real Esteli. And I think in the second half, they started fading. The mm -hmm. heat kind of got mm -hmm. to them. And I think I kind of see that similarity to all the teams that we played in Vancouver a couple of weeks ago as well. And they kind of started dropping. It was just so hot for them. And I mean, the water breaks really helped even both sides. I mean. I could, I could use a water break. <laughs> <laughs> he could probably use one right, right now. No, I'm yeah, joking. No. But, but yeah, I, I just think the heat's really paid dividends for us to kind of use that to our advantage, I would say. It's interesting, though, isn't it? Something that we complain about, you know, over the course of training or over cor the course of every day really does become something that you guys capitalize on when you're taking the right. pitch against opponents. They hope they take hope to take advantage of that tonight against Sporting KC. Uh, this roster for FC Dallas, the complexion of it has really changed, particularly with the loss of Fabian Castillo, who is now playing in Turkey. What will this team miss now that Fabian is no longer with the club? Right, I mean, um, obviously he's a special player, a guy who's a great one-on-one -on -one ability, but I think the coaching staff, as long as, the, as long as my team, we have confidence in every player. And there's a lot of players that have been itching for minutes to step up. I mean, guys like Koi Kraft, Carlos, Lisa Rosso, Tesho. I mean, the guys are itching for the field, so I have no doubt in my mind those guys aren't willing to step up and make the plays that Fabian was doing. So, I mean, obviously we wish him the best, but all in all, I mean, we have to keep moving, keep rolling with our season. And I know the guys are really excited, and we're trying to, at the end of the day, we're trying to hold up four trophies. I mean, we have Supporter Shield, Champions League, Open Cup, and then MLS Cup. So I know the guys are just ready to do so. 
Kellen lists a laundry list of events and things that are going on right now for FC Dallas, but for him, it's been an eventful summer. All-star appearance, you had the game-winning goal versus Vancouver, and now you're a big man. You're 21. <laughs> How'd you celebrate? Happy belated birthday, by the thank way. Thank you, thank you. Um, well, we're in Colorado, so I mean, I didn't get to do much. I just kind of just, kind of just chilled out, celebrated the game-winning yeah. tie. Victor, crazy, Golasso. That was awesome. That was, that awesome. was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. And then right from there, I mean, I went back home um, Sunday evening, and I left them that morning to go to the All-Star game. So it's a pretty crazy week. That wasn't a bad week, Kelly. <laughs> right. No, right. That wasn't so I guess a bad I got, week. I guess I celebrated going to the All-Star game. In All-Star fashion. Right. <laughs> I like that. I like, we are just getting started here with Kellen Acosta, All-Star, 21-year-old All-Star on <laughs> FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. Want to join FC Dallas off the pitch and raise money for a great cause? We'll tell you how you can do just that. Plus, find out what Dan Hunt had to do to convince FC Dallas he was the right man to serve the team.